What's up guys, Joe from my Tech Jam here, and in this video I'm going to show you an easy way to skip the forced software update during the initial setup of your Fire TV. All you guys need to do this is a network cable and a cell phone with a hotspot or another Wi-Fi hotspot device. This method will work with all versions of the Amazon Fire TV software, but just keep in mind that if your software is newer than 5.0.5.1, to permanently disable updates, you'll have to root your Fire TV. Also, remember if you guys like this video or have requests for other topics you'd like to see videos about, let me know in the comments below. And if you're interested in seeing more of my videos, subscribe to my channel. I will be posting two to three times a week with more tutorials, reviews, and more. Okay, so the first thing you guys are going to need to do is create an open DNS account. If you don't have one, I will leave a link in the description below where you can create a free account. Once you're in OpenDNS, click Add Network, then click Add This Network. Give it a name. You probably have a dynamic IP address, so you're going to want to leave that checked. And then click Done. Then under Your Networks, click your IP address. And scroll down to the bottom where you can block individual domains. In here we are going to block the four domain names that your Amazon Fire TV uses to retrieve updates. I will leave the domain names in the description below. So just type in the domain name, leave it as always block, and click add domain. Once you have all of those typed in and make sure they're set to always be blocked, scroll down to the bottom of the page and make note of the two open dns name servers because we will be adding them to your router the process of adding the name service to your router will vary depending on brand but if you have a verizon router click my network network connections broadband connection then scroll down and as you can see, I already have the OpenDNS servers added, but if you want to change them, click Settings. And then where it says DNS Server, make sure the drop-down says Use the following DNS server addresses. Then type in your addresses and click Apply. It is now safe to plug your network cable into your Fire TV and begin initial setup. Once you turn on your Fire TV, select your language, and then it will begin to check for updates. But don't panic, because if you set your router up correctly, this check for updates will fail. Once you receive the error message, enable your Wi-Fi hotspot, hit the back button, and let your Fire TV scan for networks. Once you're presented with the list of networks, select yours and have your hotspot in your hand because what we're going to do is connect with the hotspot and then quickly disconnect it and plug the network cable back in. Once you've selected your hotspot and have your password typed in, click connect. It will now start to connect to your hotspot. What we're waiting for is for when it says checking for updates, as soon as you see that, disconnect your hotspot and plug your network cable back in. As you can see, we have now successfully made it to the registration page and can continue with setup. From this page, you can sign in with your Amazon account or create a new one if you don't have one. Once you've finished the initial setup and make it to the home screen, scroll down to Settings, then over to System, About, and if you scroll down, you'll see that the system currently cannot update itself. So from this point, if you guys are below software version 5.0.5.1, you can go ahead and disable updates, and if you're on a version newer than that, you can continue on and root your Fire TV and then disable updates from there. One note is that if you're on version 5.2.1.1, the update screen will probably just say downloading, but that's fine because you could still root it from there. If you guys like this video or have any questions, leave them down in the comments below, and remember to subscribe to my channel for more content.